<laughs> dude, wait till you turn this corner, dude. Do you see them sliders? Oh my god. Yes, let's go. Welcome home, Rep Pack. Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. And the creator of this channel does not help me save money, but she does help me live better. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Nickelodeon Retail Camera Flip. This year, all the fun of Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Awards is coming to Walmart. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because your boy is ha. But today is going to be so much fun, because we are going to be going outside the cavern today, and we're going to be going on a little adventure to one of the biggest retailers of all time, or probably just ever, really, not of all time, probably just ever, Walmart. Yes, beautiful, beautiful Walmart. Boo. Yeah, yeah, I don't Boo. Know. <laughs> you guys know I don't really love going to Walmart all the time either, just because, especially where I live in Southern California, it is always very, very crowded, and the way they leave the shelves is something akin to only what I can imagine that third world country farmer's market might look like. But except for they have like iPhones and laptops and speakers and diapers in the same section. It, the Walmart's crazy. But it's also the place where a lot of the newest merchandise drops in, in terms of Nickelodeon, Spongebob, or any of the animation stuff that we like. On this channel, we go to thrift stores, we go to flea markets, and even sometimes discount stores. But when it comes to the mainstream stuff that's going out to everywhere, stuff that you guys can probably go pick up in your hometown, we have not been back to Walmart in a little while, so I'm excited to go over there, check out what they got. If we find anything with a sponge on it, we're gonna pick it up. Anything with a Nick logo on it that's not Paw Patrol, not Shimmer Sparkle, or also sometimes Dora. I'd be dabbling in Dora. Besides that, though, anything 90s, 2000s, anything that fits the vibe. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop in the car. So, Ryan, help me out. I'm gonna Drake and Josh this thing. Oh, come on again. You just, you, he takes the cutaway and I'm stuck here. So, well, I guess I gotta walk again. All right, so you made it, Mitchell. Yeah, it was a long walk. Yes, Mitchell did make it to the car. <laughs> we are almost here. We are getting to the Walmart right now. We are at Parker's Walmart, the good Walmart, the rich Walmart. You can see we got five below over here too. So, you know, we got a lot of options over here, but we are going to the main man here, Ryan Walmart. <laughs> yeah, we, we, there's always the doom and gloom there. Cosmo Wanda, I wish there was better weather. There we go. That's a little better. But guys, we're here, we're in a park, we're heading to the store. Okay guys, so we are in here right now. Mitchell's gonna be using his phone because I'm really sick and my phone is just not really something Mitchell wants to touch at this moment. But they just got rid of Sierra Mist and we have Starry now. So, Starry is the replacement for Sierra Mist. We're gonna go ahead and get the Starry, not this 12, 24 case. We're gonna go try and find one can of it on our journey here along with a lot of other stuff. Okay, so we, how we do this is we go to the toy section first. That's where we find the most stuff. And we go to the seasonal department, dude. Boom, right here, Mitchell spotted him. We got the eight googly eyes sticker valentine's day i already this trip is made for me because now we have some valentine's day cards i'm definitely gonna get two of these so i can give these out on whatnot too so that way i can put some of these in people's packages a little personal note and also a valentine's day card so i'm gonna grab a couple of these but not just that we have to add something new to the collection and dude i'm even gonna get these ones oh i didn't even see the scoop yeah we have yeah, scoop down true. here they have care bears they have nerf ones even that come with like wristbands they have even light ear ones right here with parker on them <laughs> and we got freaking uh that girl lele is the other nickelodeon one we have here but we're gonna stick with these ones. I'm gonna get a couple of the SpongeBob ones so I can hand some of these out. I'm gonna get one of the Scoob ones for the collection. Okay, and they have all of these awesome Easter baskets. Is this Easter baskets? Are we even that, that close to uh, Easter? The Valentine's baskets, maybe. Oh, Valentine's Day basket. I never got a Valentine's Day basket in my life, but I guess that's a thing. They even have pop ones. That's yeah. interesting. You know what? I think I might get this just because I never see. Oh, whoa. They shout out the Funko for these prices. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna yeah. say maybe we get it, but it's just four Funko figures. 15, okay. 16 bucks. I'm not that interested. I thought they were cool, but I'm trying to save for the sponge. We see them. I just see Tonka and they have Mario fun dip ones. Dude, these are the ones I always remember where the kids had the digging dips. Oh yeah. Where you just had the Valentine's Day That's info cool. on there. They have a lot of really cool stuff, but nothing really you know, Nickelodeon or 2000s or anything that fits our vibe necessarily, but awesome stuff to see. So literally in the last video, I remember I was talking about these little Valentine's mailboxes. Oh, yeah. So they have one. And I think we've seen this one before, but honestly, after talking about it, now I'm so much more nostalgic. And you guys know me, I'm slowly, slowly working. Paw Patrol into the collection. Even though in this intro I said I wasn't gonna pick up anything Paw Patrol. This is a tin, and not just that, it's a Valentine's Day mailbox. I gotta get this, just for the nostalgic vibes of the Valentine's Day tradition. And it is a Nickelodeon product, technically. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so we're in this little, like, I guess clearance section right here, but they have pop sockets for only $4.99. They're not even pop sockets, but they're Disney branded phone grips. I actually need one of these for my phone currently. We can actually show my phone this time. I never can show my phone because I'm usually using my phone. But my pop socket broke because it used to be like one that could spin. That's why it's metal. The point is it broke. So I got this guy right here, the Mickey Mouse one. I just got back from Disneyland yesterday because yesterday was my birthday. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get this one to represent the mouse. Okay guys, so we made our way to like the board game section. They had some cool stuff, but what I did see is the Blue's Clues Collectibles figures right here. So these ones are series three. I don't know if we have series two at home or series three at home. So I don't want to grab too many and we already have some. I'm going to grab just two, but I might end up with just one depending on what I find out about series three. But either way, I wanted to get some of these. Okay, I am so tired of these mini brands, but dude. Oh, I got to get that Lotso. There's a Lotso, the strawberry scented. They always find a way to get me back into these. We never even got the gold buzz light. We didn't get the gold forky though. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it so we can try and get the lot. So who knows what else they have inside this? Got Pixar, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars. We're hoping for something on the upper half here, but either way, <laughs> still sick. We have a Jurassic Park Jeep Wrangler here, the one from the film. I have a feeling that's not the price though. Jurassic, is. is it really? There's no way that's it. Okay, we'll scan this in to see if it's that much. If so, we'll get that for sure. I feel like it's probably this one, a Beta Raptor. Let's see if this thing's really going for that much. Oh, dude, what the frick? They have color shifting Hot Wheels now? So you just splash this thing in water. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm getting one of these just for the effect of that. That's so cool. The black Which turns green. Want? I'm getting the black and green. That's total Reptar vibes, man. Okay, and then we have the Lightyear Hot Wheels. We have a Sox car, we have a Hawthorne car. We have a Buzz Lightyear one, but honestly, Zerg, yeah, I think I'm going to pick up this Zerg right, right here. That is so cool. I love it. It doesn't even look like a Hot Wheel at this point, no, you know? Yeah. Like, it's the only one that, oh, no, dude, we have the XL15, too. So you have the XL1, which is based off of the basic Buzz Lightyear, but then down here, you've got the XL1 ship, and then you have the XL15 ship is the one he used at the end of the movie. Yeah, Zerg. But Zerg had one continuous ship, and that's what we're going to get. Dude, do you remember, like, we had these, like, the sharks and stuff like that? Like, the yeah, the big wheels? shark mouth. Now yeah. they have, like, a black widow. What is it with, like, race cars? And predatory animals that seven-year-old boys are like, I mean, there's yes. even right behind you up here, there's dinosaur ones. Yeah, like, why is it like predator animals and cars that just go hand in hand? And as usual, I get to the Sonic section and it is completely gone. Look at this, dude. This isn't for the Sonic movie 2 and it's still sold out. Like, that movie's been out for so oh, long. Sonic. Like, they have made so much money off of the Sonic movies. Like, it's unbelievable. And as a person who's trying to collect all the figures, it's damn near impossible. So our lanyard section, we usually find some other like licensed products. We have Scooby-Doo one, but we already have this one. We got Winnie the Pooh, Mitchell. We got uh, Tom, and then we've got, <laughs> we've got Stitch. And then, but I gotta say, some representation for Bluey. I am like episode number 10 now of Bluey. And I gotta say, the show, it starts off very childlike, and it definitely is, but there's something comforting about it. And as it goes on, some of the jokes and the actual storylines themselves are kind of elaborate. And if you just like suspend belief for a little bit, it's an amazing show, but it's just, it's definitely not for everybody, but I am a person Personally, a huge fan of it. I'm glad to see it getting representation. Hey, Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. No, no, no. Dude, there's a viewfinder in the wall. That's actually one of the most unique things I've ever seen. I'm glad you pointed this out and told me to turn the camera on for this. No, no, no. That's Mitchell every day when I say something about minions. And that's me when I'm talking about minions. I'd rather really <laughs> see something like that than that. Ryan just edited another minions product there. So, you know. What about this? Oh, same thing. King Reptar would. Oh, same thing. But I actually do think this Sonic one right here is awesome. If I would have had something like this as a kid, I would have had even less of an <laughs> yeah, because I would have messing with it way too much. But dude, this one has an actual viewfinder it's in cool, it. But minions ain't. I can't see out of it, but I guess there's no light on the other side, I think. That is awesome, though. I gotta say, that's a really unique idea for that minion's watch. All right, so now that we got Mitchell's watch out the way, let's you go ahead. this one? Oh, this minion's watch that Ryan also edited? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you made it to the card section. You have some stuff here, and you got like a Sonic card up there. We don't see anything sponge. I'd love to get another SpongeBob card. But we're at the Popsies, and these are pretty much the same ones they had last time. I don't know. But what do you think? I feel like maybe Popsies are going to not be around for much longer. Yeah, I don't really ever see anyone have these, so I don't know. Yeah, I you mean, there might be one that's like super rare, though. Those guys have been Funko fans for a long time. You guys know about some of the things they've had in the past, like Dorbs, for example, that just kind of just disappear yeah. or rock candies. And I feel like these might go the way of rock candies and Dorbs just because they never make new ones. So maybe they aren't as confident in the product or something, because I'd love to pick up some more. I have a couple, but they don't make any other properties that I'm interested in. The Snoopy one is the closest one I'm thinking about getting right now. 
now. But like you said, like with pops and everything else here, you have room for you. Like, do I have another space for another Funko product? Especially one that's so like one off. It's just like a gift thing. Yeah, unless you're a Funko collector, like then it's like, okay, I want all the Funko related stuff. Like but for me, I am a overall collector. So like, I only want only a percentage of my collection to be Funko. So if I get these two, then it's like, what do I have room for anything else? Well, someone made that decision. They said, well, we'll get rid of Britney for something down here, I guess. Leave Britney alone. I just said that, and awesome, we got one. It's a pretty basic one. I don't think it's gonna jumping have any like jellyfish. songs or anything, but yes, yeah, it's Jumping Jellyfish. It's your birthday, which was my birthday yesterday. Let oh, the celebration. I'm sorry oh. to cut you off, but I saw another one. Dude, nice. This is let's, let the celebration of your awesomeness begin. We're getting this one for sure. That's a new number to the collection. And then happy birthday. Hope it's not just happy. Hope it's silly, crazy, ridiculously happy. Of course, we are getting that one. And only 98 cents. I love you so much, Nickelodeon, for making these products that are accessible to everybody for only 99 cents. You really can't beat that. Everybody can get a little sponge in their life. <gasps> dude, wait till you... No, no, no. Wait till you turn this corner, dude. Do you see them sliders? Oh, my God. Yes. Let's go. These are actually probably the sickest slides I've ever seen in my life. A SpongeBob and Patrick duo pair of slides. That is way too cool. You have Patrick's texture on there and SpongeBob's. Oh, my God. I think these are seriously one of my favorite slides I've ever seen. And you, you wear them a my, lot, so. Yeah, I wear slides every single day. I'm not wearing them right now, but around the house in most days, I wear slides all the time. These types of shoes, very, very lazy to put shoes on. Also, when you have a job where you, usually you're being filmed from here up 90% of the time, you're like, hey, why am I going to put shoes on? But I almost want to get two pairs of these, but I want to see if we're going to find anything else today. We're going to hold on to just one for now. because I have one for the collection, but I think I want a pair of these to wear. Yeah, this is super sick. And I love that they didn't just do SpongeBob ones. Like the Patrick and SpongeBob is amazing. This is such an amazing shoe. Okay, guys, from the bedding, you guys know we already have this SpongeBob. We already have this blanket. We already have this blanket with Squidward doing the thing. We got we this blanket. Yeah, we don't have this kid's quilt with him there, doing the there's thing. There's a pillow doing the thing. There's a, there's countless things of him doing the thing here. But we have everything here, or it is for a child, and it's not something that I can use in my life. Oh, dude, this is so cute, though. We have a freaking Hello Kitty one. That is actually adorable. And the Blues Clues one. These are, I almost freaking want to get this one over here. I almost want to get that with my actual bed. They have some awesome stuff here, but unfortunately, we have most of the stuff so just get some shots we'll move on to the next section which is going to be the dvds and you know what i'm looking for over there patrick star the show or anything else cartoon or the animated series that we need in the collection My favorite thing in the entire DVD section is this guy right here, the $5 bin, because you get to get so much stuff into the collection. You guys know me, I'm trying to be able to have everything accessible, whether it be Nickelodeon, have every piece of content accessible, or Scooby-Doo and having every episode accessible. So things like this, where you get the movie for $5, or Unearthed Gems, we do not have this in the collection for $5. So we are gonna grab this all day. Puss in Boots, the movie, grabbing it. We already have this, but look, all three of the Rugrats movies for $5. Right here, we already have this one too. Boom, you get three Nickelodeon movies in one. Oh yes, we are grabbing Spy this Kid. one, dude. Spy Kids 1, 2, and 3 for $5. Are you joking me? They also have Roger Rabbit, the 25th anniversary, which has like a bunch of bonus content for five bucks too. But we are gonna stick with these three for right now here. I love the Puss in Boots series and also the Shreks. And these are iconic. So all three of them, I would never probably buy the one or two yeah, or three. Yeah, three. Happy. All three for five dollars just to have them accessible. Why not? An Unearthed Gem, this is a Nickelodeon number. I know we have all these episodes probably amongst the series disc, but cool artwork on the front and also a good disc to have. So we have the SpongeBob three in one movie, which is kind of cool. That is a good one. I you need this one. One, but I have all those movies separately, so for $15, I'll probably pass it for now. But they have the first 200 episodes, but they don't have Patrick Star Show. So again, you'll just continue to look for that. All right, guys, so we are in the pop section, and me, the easiest way to do this is just, can we find anything animation left in the Funko section? So I see a Cheshire Cat, which was your last time. And then over here, I don't see anything animation themed, like at all. We got Candyman. It is so crazy how like literally anything animation is the first to go. And I mean, I, I'm proud to hear that. that is awesome, but it also sucks because we can never find nothing. Okay, so we're in the clothing section. I already have this Looney Tunes shirt. I have been looking for the I've Been Chosen shirt, and they never usually have it in my size, but maybe today will be the day that they have an XL. I, I literally feel like these are the same size they had last time. There's no XL. But I think that's pretty much it for the clothing. We're gonna look to check out a couple more sections, see if we find something, and if not, we're gonna be heading out. We got a lot of stuff already, but like I said, we'll check one more little scan to see if we see anything, Nick, and then we're heading out. 
All right, guys, so with the socks, it's kind of tough sometimes for me to be honest and know what socks I have and don't have, so I'm a little bit hesitant at times, but I know for sure I do not have these Avatar socks. Look at the Momo ears. I know the Momo ears right there on Zuko. Definitely what made you pull these guys off the shelf. So I think we're gonna get these guys. So at least we have something in the clothing department today. Okay, guys, so we left Walmart. We are back at the cavern, and we did find a smaller version of Starry for us to drink. So this is the new Sierra Mist. Apparently, Sierra Mist was not doing that good with their competitor Sprite and 7-Up existing. And I hate to do this to you, Mr. Coke Zero. Nine times out of ten, I'm always going to pick you. I feel like I'm breaking my vows. I'm cheating on my Coke Zero <laughs> with Starry, some kind of promiscuous home wrecker named Starry. What the hell even is this, Mitch? I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a soda anymore. It just... doesn't seem like a soda at all. Like that name of, hey, pass me a starry. But Mitchell's got his cup right here, bros. Let's go ahead and try this out. We'll give it our uh, review. And not just that, if it actually tastes any different from Sierra Mist. Pour is the same, same viscosity. Oh, dude, look at that nice suds, man. That's what we love here. That's what makes soda so good. All the bubbly goodness. <laughs> all right, so I got the rest of it here. Lemon lime flavored soda with other natural flavors. Check it out. Smells the same. Ooh. Hmm. It tastes exactly like Sierra Mist until you finish it. And then I almost want to say it tastes like, what is that aftertaste? It's like more like limey. I'd say it tastes exactly like Sierra Mist, but just with like Mitchell was saying, a, a very limey taste at the end. Okay. It's basically just a rebranding to get you to buy it again, but this one, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, like a six out of 10. Oh, yeah, I was going to say five. Sprite's just too good. I was going to say five. Sprite right here, seven up and Starry. Which one are you grabbing? Oh, Sprite all day. And then second. Oh, probably seven up. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not looking good for Starry here. All right, you guys let me know. If you guys have tried Starry, how you feel about it. But besides that, let's move on to the stuff that we found at Walmart. And the first thing we found was this awesome pop socket, but it also spins. I didn't even know it did that. So let's go ahead and pop this open. So we have the legendary Mickey Mouse here. Let's go ahead and take this off. Ooh, adherent. But, ooh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I gotta get my old one off, but I can't. <sighs> it's literally bolt. Oh, oh my gosh. I am gonna save you the visuals of how nasty the other side of this is. You never think about that little crevice in between the pop socket and your phone until you take it off. And now this, I feel like this is something we need to put into hazmat or like quarantine. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and set this guy down. Boom, and does he spin? Bro, he ain't spinning. What is the spin aspect like? Rip off! This is not spinning. It's still cool though. We have the Mickey pop socket on here. Oh, and this is gonna be way easier for filming because we haven't had the pop socket on there in a while. And it's just kind of like, uh, yeah, really hard to hold without <laughs> blocking the camera by accident. And he's so cute there. Maybe because I just went to Disneyland, but I am definitely in love with Mickey. I would love to have a SpongeBob pop socket, but I run through these things so fast that I probably will have a SpongeBob pop socket in a few months here. So let's just give Mickey a little ride on the Marcus phone mobile. And let him collect some of that Marcus Reese. So we have some mystery items too. We have the two Blue's Clues figures here. I'm not sure if we have any of the ones in this series or not yet. I couldn't find any information online. But then we have the mini brands here. I say we go with mini brands first. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so what do you want? That you want the Lotso or the what? The gold? Anything Toy Story I'll be happy with. Gold Buzz or something? If they have a Gold Buzz, that would be cool, but I don't know if that's gonna be in this series. Have you never opened one of these before? I've only watched. Yeah, these things are like an orange. So you have to rip all this unnecessary plastic off. And then once you get through all that, you have this orange here. You lace this open, and then you just let it drop. Boom, <laughs> blitz it right open. So let's check out our first one here. We have an XRS from Cars. So I don't know, this must have been from Cars 3 maybe, but we have the XRS Cars mini toy. That's a cool one. At least it's something we actually collect here at Pixar, so that's cool. The next we have Raya from The Last Dragon, which, which is also Disney. So we have that one, awesome. And then we've got, oh, okay, our first one that I have no real clue about. This is the Wasp, apparently. I think it would have been cooler if they made an Ant-Man figure because it kind of would have made sense. Yeah. You know, but I guess she shrinks too. So that's awesome. As well. Come on, Gold Lotso. What? Is that a shelf? What bro, is that? bro, this is a Disney display shelf. Let's go ahead and build it because I'm curious, but I've been building a lot of shelves recently. So the last thing I want is a mystery shelf that I had to build, but let's build it. Okay, so we got the little Disney shelf built in. It's not bad, honestly. Like, I don't really have a lot of personal use for this, but maybe, you know what it is? If this was any other, like, mini brand shelf, I'm always like, oh, this is so unnecessary. But why I like this one is you want to know why? Why? Just take a guess. 
Is this a Disney? No, dude, because I put my adorables on it. Oh, okay, there you go. You know what I mean? Like, if you collect mini brands, you'd be able to have a bunch of these, and I can see that being useful. But, oh, dude, and what I also know is, notice now you can connect them, too, in the back. So you can have two back-to-back. -back. You have, like, a grail adorables little stand. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, if you have a bunch of these in a row with all your little adorables on it, that could be kind of cool. So, I'll go ahead and say it's not the worst one to get out of a capsule. <laughs> all right, our last one here. Do we have something to put on this Disney shelf other than Cars and Raya? Well, I guess that's technically Disney's, too. It's Avengers. They own everything. So let's see what we got here. Oh no, it's a Minnie Mouse like grocery basket or something. We got nothing Toy Story related. But we can see the list here of what we have to hunt for. And oh my God, you're not gonna believe this. So they have regular Lotso, but look who they have next to him. They have a Zerg mini brands. I need the Zerg, I need the Lotso, I need the Woody and Forky, I need the Rex. And finishing it off, there's a gold Lotso. Okay, so that's that was a little disappointing, not gonna lie. Not my origins. I'm gonna throw all five of these. If you can catch at least two of them, you will go up there in the top list of fastest ninjas with Minato, Rock Lee, and Cho Chi. Cho Chi? You see him rolling, man. He gets momentum. He learned that rollout move from a, from a milk tank I heard. All right, ready? Yeah. He caught two! He's right there. Okay, you're up there with Minato. Uh -huh. <laughs> Minato ain't got none. Well, he's also dead, so I guess you, oh. got, you got that on him, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go for it. Are you ready? Yeah, give me a good toss, though. Oh my god! <laughs> that was really spread. I got three. If you count the one that landed on my crotch. And to be fair, Mitchell did it with one hand, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that game when you're sitting in there and it's like money is flying around. You're like, <laughs> oh yeah, man. That smart kids, they just go straight for the wall. Yep. Just block it off. Okay, but let's get into these blues clues ones. Let's check it. What is going to be in these? What are, what are we looking for? I don't know, to be honest. We have two blue paws right blue. here. You can be blue, you just hold these in your hands. You can have paws and walk around like a, a freaky Lloyd. I feel like she's not this disgraceful. <laughs> All right, let's check it out then, see what we got in here. Ah, oh, dude, I feel like these are the same ones. We got magenta, but I don't think we have that magenta. I'm still looking for the glitter translucent one, so we can check out magenta here. She is so cute there with your little glasses too. I love what I'm seeing, but is this the same series we've been opening up for a while here? No, this is a new wave, so they don't have the glitter ones in this, but there are some ones that I'd love to get, like the skidoo frame down here. That would be awesome to pull, along with cinnamon, are also paprika. If you guys don't know, I am the real life living paprika because my mom is salt and my dad is pepper. So I be paprika. There's a god cool ones in there. I'm hoping for the skidoo frame or the or the paprika. Let's check it out in this last one. Oh, come on. Well, at least we got the two possible magentas. And we already have the magenta from the last series. So now we have hella magenta. We got the, the laying down, like squatting magenta. We got the standing, applauding magenta. And then we have the sitting down magenta. So I mean, I'm not really too sad that we got magentas because we're building this little set here, I guess. Okay, next up we got this color shifting car here, and I can't lie, I'm kind of excited about it. So we need to put it into cold water. Okay, so I don't know if I had a lot of cold water in my house, but I did have some ice, so I decided some to put- Some ice? <laughs> I had to use that for ice. And this bowl is nostalgic in itself because my mom gave me all these bowls. So this particular bowl is the same bowl I used to eat with when I was like five. Six. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, she gave me these bowls maybe about a year ago and I cherish them so much because I remember so many meals as a kid eating and watching cartoons and seeing this bowl. So super cool that I have them now. Okay, so the water seems cold enough. So all we do is we're gonna add it into the water and we'll see what happens. You gotta take it out first. We're gonna save that in the box. That's what that's how it works. I don't think it works. That is not changing at all. Yeah, take it out of the box. Okay, well, let's see if you're right. So right now it's black. Got a nice charcoal black look, but if I dip this into the water, it's still black. Not cold enough. Yeah, it's probably not cold enough. You know what, it's cold. Oh yeah, Mitchell, this is cold coming out of that. That's disgusting. Hey, well, I didn't say it was gonna look good. All right, this is cold enough though, I think. It's still not changing the color, dude. dude. It's starting to. Where do you see it starting to? Like on the back where your hand is? Cause it's like lighter green there now. Oh, I see what you're saying. Maybe you gotta leave it in there longer. Even the top's starting to go green. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the next item for right now. Cause I can't get this thing to go. I'm gonna put it in fresh water and then we're gonna put it in the freezer for a bit. At the end of this video, we can check it out and see if this actually changed colors. Okay, so stick around, we'll check that out. next. 
Next up, we have the Avatar socks here. We have the Zuko, Momo, we have the just general elements sock here. We have Sokka, Appa, and also Aang, which doesn't rhyme with Sokka or Appa, and I wish I could have continued that train too. But no. And then at the back here, it says that all of them have 98% polyester, except for Sokka. My man Sokka, I guess, is the least flexible of the whole crew, because he is only 97% polyester. He's more Sokka, though. Yeah, I mean, maybe because his name is Sokka, they were just like, oh, he's got he's got to cover that extra 1%. It's really weird. I have no clue why the Sokka sock has 1% less polyester, or maybe it was a typo. But I'm not going to open these guys up, because I don't necessarily know if I'm going to wear them. But I do want to add this to the Nickelodeon closet. It's going to be a great piece to add into the collection. So I'm glad we picked it up. Okay, then next up, we had our two cards that we found. And I already read you guys both these cards in the store. But they're both modern cards for SpongeBob. But the fact is, is these are licensed products. And whenever we can get a licensed product to add to the world's biggest collection we're trying to build here, it's always a good day. And we got two awesome birthday cards. And it's only thematic. My birthday was just yesterday, too. So, of course, we'll be adding these to our SpongeBob birthday cards. And very soon to our document file in the back here, where we have a full filing cabinet that we just installed. Then next up, we have the Valentine's Day cards that we found. So we have these right here. They have googly eyes in them. Let's go ahead and pop them open. We have three, actually. So let's go ahead and pop open one here. So it looks like you got to double up on the actual designs themselves. But right here, you have one. This is I like you more than SpongeBob likes anything. That is my Dang. favorite one. That is so cute, because it is true. That is why we do everything that we do here. And you know, SpongeBob is my favorite guy in the world, my favorite non-existent guy. I guess Tom Kenny exists, but the character is, you know, he's a one-of-a-kind guy, and he finds joy, and he lives things in life and that's what I love so much about Spongebob so that's a perfect card hey Valentine get happy um depending on someone's situation that may make their situation worse so maybe don't give them that one <laughs> we got I like you more than Patrick likes food now that that is even more than this I think but you know what's funny is they have the heart Krabby Patty there and it kind of gives me vibes of our heart shaped Krabby Patties that they've released over time yeah they're like the perfect shape and everything yeah it's pretty referential to the actual candy they released and then next we've got the happy BFF Gary of course we have happy sweet Valentine's with Patrick and Spongebob. We have all you need is friends with Spongebob and Patrick together. Happy Valentine's Day and also we're the perfect combo. Okay, so I don't know about you, Mitchell, but when I was in elementary school, I would always give the coolest card to like whoever I kind of had like a crush on in the class, you know? Okay. We're back in elementary school. Which of these cards are you give to your elementary crush? I'm gonna go with this one right here that I like you more than Spongebob likes anything. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, man. I think that's gonna get you in for sure. <laughs> get you in? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get you in those freaking elementary elementary school DMs or notes. We'll be passing them to you. For sure in elementary school. You need one of these guys to stop the amount of demand <laughs> that the money Mitch has behind the cam. I will say I like the back too. Like the back design's really nice. Googly eyes for you. I think I would go with I like you more than Patrick likes food because women love food. So that will definitely get to them for sure. Or he could give them this last one here because we're the perfect combo. It's the biggest card for some reason, and it has that's a, true too. It has a different design. Or you can say all we need is friendship, and then she'll think, oh, I got friend zone, and you're like, oh, nah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys let's know what cards you would pick. But since we're already on the topic of Valentine's Day, I can't wait to open this guy up. And uh, Mitchell, who is this made by? Is it is it Tin Box Company? No, it's not. It's Tim Box Company, like you said it last time. So we have this the, is a one-off thing. <laughs> Have the Tim Box Company. If you guys don't know, they've been working with Nickelodeon for over 20 years at this point. So we love the Tim Box Company here. I mean, you have all these cards here. You have the googly eyes. I guess suppose you put the googly eyes on the eyeballs of the SpongeBob. I suppose that just makes them better. It's true. Everything gets better with googly eyes. But we have one card here. So let's go ahead and separate that out. And what you do is you would, you know, find your crush or go to your crush's desk and find their little mailbox here. And you just go ahead and drop this in. Desperately. And you just try to aim for it. You don't let her see this part because like, oh man, he's bad at that. Why would it go in? And then you drop it on in and you're just one of many. But it's just the quality on this thing for only $6. Like it's made out of tin, which the tin box company is good for. It's got a full design all the way around. Perfect. And it actually comes with Valentine's Day stickers too. Let's go ahead and see what we got inside there though. Oh, oh, that, that's a good thing. Close that. But that's how that works. And we will be keeping this for sure. And I didn't do a Valentine's Day decoration this year, but maybe next year I will. And this is something we can add to that. And then we got the Scoob ones too here. And I love the Scoob ones because they have all these different renditions of the characters from Scoob. My favorite thing about this particular box is that even though Velma's on here, Scooby still exists. So that's why I like this particular <laughs> box. <laughs> yeah, that's Scrappy down there. Yeah, you're right. No, actually that's that's Puppy Scooby. Oh, cause Puppy Power was Scrappy's thing. So. I know, yeah. 
they, I guess they just said, nah, we'll just give you Scooby. That's the thing about Warner Brothers. They do not like Scrappy. Nor do they like Red Shirt Shaggy, really. They just try to forget Scrappy existed. I like Red Shirt Shaggy. Hey, he also had them blue jeans. Everybody yeah. forgets the blue jeans. They think, oh, a shirt changed. Nope, that whole outfit changed. And then next up, we have the Zerg ship right here. And if you guys haven't seen Lightyear, spoiler alert, you find out Zerg is actually Buzz Lightyear. And that drives completely away from the canon and what we thought from Toy Story 2 about Zerg being his father. And I gotta say, like, as a person who grew up loving Buzz Lightyear so much, seeing Zerg as Buzz Lightyear and seeing him be the villain was actually kind of scary. It's not like he's Freddy Krueger or like Jason Voorhees, you know? But it's this fact of seeing a character that you looked up to, and I always thought of him as just like a good Good guy, so heroic, so awesome, so clever. And then to see him turn into a villain, it's a little jarring for a fan, you know? So I think that it was a really cool villain to add because it was scarier than something physically scary. So Zerg being the villain really worked though because I was afraid of Zerg and I was afraid of Buzz in that moment. So I was so glad to see the Buzz that was a good person end up winning on the end. But I'm actually gonna keep this guy sealed just because of the fact that I think it's really cool, but I don't think it'll look as cool without the packaging on it. And you guys know me, sometimes I like the actual packaging more than the product. And I think this is one of those cases where you don't get that light year like speed yeah, in the background. The speed and lines and he's like flying through space. Yeah, yeah it just makes nice. everything way cooler when you have the whole packaging with it because they try to highlight the product and make it look more like what you're expecting it to look. And then you unravel it. Disappointment settles in. Yeah, yeah. I hope that, hopefully that's not relatable for you in any aspect of life though. Our last couple items here though, we have these DVDs, which was a steal, an absolute steal. We have the Puss in Boots movie here which is the original Puss in Boots movie. Nothing will distract me. Oh. But I love cats, so, you know, that's why I like Hello Kitty. I like pretty much anything. If you, make it, if you make it a cat or a dog, I'm almost assuredly to like that character, at least a little bit. But Puss in Boots, he's a swordsman, and not just that, he used his, his cuteness to his advantage. And that, you know, sometimes you gotta do that in life, Mitchell. You got to. Sometimes you can't fight hard enough, and you just gotta look at him with a... That might freak you out, but but for Puss in Boots, it works very well. Yep. And then right here, we got Spy Kids 1, 2, and 3. And right here, we have Junie. Right here, we have slightly older Junie. And right here, we have the Juniest. The Primal Junie. Ryan, show us Primal Junie. And then there's Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen was cool too, but I seriously thought Junie, like, cause I was the same age as him growing up, so I feel like he was what I thought I could be. And then you realize that you just never could be that. Well, yeah, cause I don't have super spy parents, Mitchell. Yeah, I know. Okay, so he has super spy parents, and that's why his life was so sick. The only thing you had similar to him was George Lopez just being all up in your face. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Of the three though, what do you call them? One, two, or three? For me, it's three. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the third one is probably one of the best, yeah. I don't know why. I don't even know if I just say it's a better movie, but the third one I saw in theaters with like my whole class. Oh, was, it, was it the 3D one? Yeah, it was yeah. a 3D. And that was my first time experiencing, I think, 3D for real, for real. And man, did it look bad. Yeah. <laughs> I never, at any point in time, that I think, oh, this looks great. Yeah. I always knew that 3D back then sucked. And here is actually my spy kit kids 3D glasses right here. These are the McDonald's ones, but this is essentially what you went into the theaters with until we had the real D glasses, which I'm popping up on screen. I have those in here somewhere too, but I don't know where they're at. They also released SpongeBob SquarePants real D glasses on screen that I've been hunting for for years. And if you happen to have a pair of those sitting in your closet somewhere, make sure you message me. Then next up we have the Unearthed Gems, which is really cool. Not just because of the fact that it's Nickelodeon vintage stuff, but we've had other DVD releases before on the channel. Like these for the out of the vault that were sent in by Aaron from fan mail. We have all of them out of the vault and I love these DVDs mainly because the artwork. You don't see artwork like this 90s aesthetic with all the yeah. shows that we grew up with and, in 2023. And that one definitely like encapsulates that too. Yeah, so it's Unearthed Gems and it has classic episodes from All Real Monsters, Cat Dog, Danny Phantom, Angry Beavers, and the Wild Thornberries. Just a nice compilation disc. Just to throw you in a Nick vibe for a couple hours. I love this one and of course we're going to add this to the collection here. And last but not least we have the SpongeBob Slittles, man. And I call them Slittles because they remind me of Skittles with them bright colors. Like that. I'm trying to think of Skittles that were ever pink, but... <sighs> Mitchell, Mitchell. Can you imagine living in a world where a company like Skittles wouldn't have already made every color possible? They made pink. But, 
I am actually gonna open this pair. Usually I have so many, oh my God, dude. I just realized these were released at Walmart too. So they must have known how successful they were. You know what, dude, I'm not gonna open them now because now we have the duo. So these are the Walmart shoes they released. Got a little dust on them, I had a lint roll off. And then over here, these are the slides they released. So I'm gonna go back to Walmart. I should have gotten two pairs in the first place, but they only had one pair in my size. But either way, I'm gonna go back eventually and we'll get another pair of these because I'm not gonna open them. So we have this duo of the slides and the shoes. So we got sandals, now we got slip on. I mean, what else is next? You just need sneakers with some laces on them and you'll be, you'll be, you got the trio. <clears throat> We're gonna talk about those. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot. The only thing we need now is SpongeBob and Patrick slippers. I think that's all the evolutions of shoes. And then we need socks, but we have those for sure. And then we need SpongeBob feet. You know, I just need a whole SpongeBob body yeah. and all. <laughs> I would take his feet, his body, his arms, his nose, and maybe not his nose. But I would not take Squidward's feet, especially after that toenail incident. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. To try out. Oh, we're trying now. The car. I gotta get it back up, I don't know why I said no. I just wanna make it dramatic. And I knocked over the starry again, so if you don't have to clean that up, I'd really appreciate it. I'm calling scams, it's still not green. This water is, you're not crystallizing around the outsides. Oh! Mm. Ah. Like it's slightly green, like slight, ever so slightly green. But if you look at this packaging, that is Nickelodeon slime lime right there. That is super green comparatively to this. And this water, dude, put your finger in that. No, actually don't, because you can't even handle that coldness. It's so cold. But I'm calling 100% scam, and I'm gonna give this a three out of 10, because that is the number that it has on there. And honestly, if it wasn't for that, I would've given it a lower number, because that is just a darker green. And now my interior is soaked. I regret that purchase. That was the biggest waste of a dollar and 18 cents ever. His name's 24-7, so. His name's 24-7? 24-7 scamming. Yeah, 24-7 loser. Yeah. You hear that? Roasted. Loser. <laughs> yeah, roasted. Yeah, weenie. Roasted. You are continuing to be roasted by Money Mitch. And we're gonna add these on here. Now you are way better than you ever were before. That he, looks like a Pixar guard. Dude, I was gonna say, he could be the next villain in Cars 4. <laughs> like, he looks so good like that. All right, there we go, guys. That was actually for this video. Of course, stick around. We'll be adding a bunch of this stuff to the collection. But before that, you guys know the drill. Scan it! So guys, right here we have the SpongeBob and Patrick Walmart shoes. I have to get something to dust all these shoes off. I think a lint roller should be sufficient, but if you guys have any advice on that, let me know. These guys, we're gonna hang right above them. So boom, we have the perfect duo. They're kind of going counter, which I love. Got size 11, size 11, they're perfect match. That's where they're gonna go, and we're gonna keep going up. It's only if they're gonna be like this double matching thing now. I wanna get slippers, I wanna get socks, but we do have some of our other shoes down here, but they're not gonna go hanging up. These ones are just so SpongeBob specific. Or SpongeBob Pacific, but they had to go up there. Okay, so you guys know we just installed the DVD and VHS shelf right here. It goes all the way down to the floor where you're gonna have plenty of room for all of this stuff. Stay tuned, we're gonna be posting that video very, very soon. We're also doing the video organizing the entire filing cabinet. We are about to get so categorical in this place, you're not gonna believe it. And also, if I do get a cat, Agori is not a bad name. All right, so we're unearthed gems though. We're gonna go ahead and add it in back here just because we have the out of the bolt already. So we have all these guys. We're gonna go ahead and add it to this other group of Nickelodeon bangers. So there it is. You might as well keep it sealed. If you look at our DVD cabinet, we actually have all of these, the complete series. I don't think there's anything on this that we haven't seen or don't have available already. So we'll just add it into the collection and keep it sealed. Okay, and our Valentine's Day cards and with our regular cards are gonna go in the files and I cannot wait to get these guys out of here. It is so full and I have pushed this blue display to its max. And here's a shot of the new filing cabinet where it's all gonna be loaded. And I think this video may drop even before the DVD one. So stay tuned for both those videos. They are gonna take us some time, so make sure you guys smack the like button so that way we know that you want to see that video but not just that a little motivation because it's going to be a lot of work to finish both of those and also clean all the files and reorganize them in a whole new fashion so that way we can continue to add to this awesome collection that we're all building together okay and the avatar socks we are going to add these to the nickelodeon closet i'd rather keep the avatar collection in here more items and like flashy stuff like that socks are cool but i think for right now we'll put them in the vault all right guys so we have the zerg hot wheel right up here we have the main man ship right here with all of his other figures. I think that is a perfect section for him in our Toy Story collection and every single thing in this collection as I repeat all the time is under $20 including that item. This guy is not Toy Story but he's really awesome. Check this out. Look at that thing go! Look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him! <laughs> you can't tell me there's not a cooler toy out there. This is the coolest. Absolutely! 
Okay, so for the Scooby-Doo Valentine's, we probably will put these on display just somewhere in here. We'll block out Scooby Dumb just for Valentine's Day. It won't stay there because it's very like thematic to Valentine's Day. So for right now, it's gonna go there. But both of these guys are gonna go in here with our classic childhood movies. We got Hannah Montana in here. We got Kim Possible. We got Sky High. So I mean, we gotta add Spy Kids. This is a Y2K iconic film right here. So we gotta add that along with Puss in Boots. I don't have like a huge Shrek collection out here in stuff like that but it's definitely it's definitely the area that it fits in the most all right guys that is actually for this one though i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure you guys smack that like button and subscribe if you're new here we have some awesome videos coming up so you guys are not going to want to miss those make sure you have bell notifications on all that great stuff but make sure you guys check out this video on your screen right here which is the last epic video on this channel i know you guys are going to love it i'll see you guys over there and as always rep pack i will see you beautiful people in the next one adios Bloop.